See, California is not all about palm trees and beaches. It's also about Joshua trees and the desert. And the giant monzo granite rock formations and the dangerous cacti and the coyotes, but more about those later. I was so stoked to do a little YouTuber meetup and collaboration with Gabriel Morris, known as Gabriel Traveler. Check out his travel channel in the description below. It is full of world travel adventures. Things just got ready. So what we did was drive from San Diego through Palm Springs and into Joshua Tree National Park. The park spans 800,000 acres and could take over two hours just to drive straight through. We came in at the northern entrance and drove around to several notable spots inside. How awesome is this? I feel like I'm in a country western movie. In fact, I am here on AMATV. So I'm filming with the Osmo here. I'm really excited about the smooth footage. I'm going to get with this today. And I've got a little bit of a, an external mic. I'm still experimenting with external mic sources. We will see how this one works. Hey, Gabe. It's pretty sweet, right? Yep, absolutely. It's going to be an awesome day. These are some surreal, beautiful landscapes. Yes. Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree is amazing. I can't believe I live so close to this. And it's the first time I've ever been. Look at this. Just look, ready? Shall we scramble up it? Yeah. Climbing up this epic rock formation. Oh man, <laughs> this is sweet. Oh my gosh. When I first saw this, I was like, oh, this, we're just gonna run up it's to the top. Easy. I'm trying to go up there. <laughs> Hold on, stand right there again. That was like an awesome picture. Speaking of awesome pictures, Gabe is best known for his Vision. levitation photos, which combine camera work plus his great jumping cool. skill. I'll try another one. He's gathered this pose in several travel destinations all around the world. Seriously, how unique is that? Maybe I'll go do some yoga on that rock. Of course it's fun to have a go-to move for the camera when you're out making travel videos. Just remember, if one shot doesn't work out, you've got to try it again and again until you achieve success. So of course I had to use his extra help to finally get up on that rock and be careful not to fall off of it. And speaking of danger... Now Gabriel and I are checking out the Cactus Garden, which seems to be this magical little place. I know I say that everything is magical, but I mean it every single time. You think it's magical? <laughs> Unless you are a, a cactus wren. A cactus wren. They say not to touch them. Look, I'm still alive. Seriously though, I should have never laughed at those warnings because sure enough, one of these evil little cactus balls ended up in the side of my boot and impaled my actual foot through the sole of the shoe. It ended up being not too bad, but I can see how it could have done a lot worse. Besides that, the Choya Cactus Garden was lovely, I suppose. So this little area of Joshua Tree National Park is called Live Oak. Live oak, and it just features these epic rock formations. Joshua Tree is something to see. I wish I could play the U2 album. Let's go down on Red Hill. Ooh. Yeah, so this is a you know Southern California exclusive. Gabriel's been all over national parks, and he says he's never seen anything like this. He's talking about a place in India that was similar, but you know that's India. Cool rock climbers. Get it, man. Ugh. Oh, neat. Oh, my shadow jumping. Oh, cool. Check out Skull Rock. Skull, rock and roll. So it's a skull. I guess it kind of looks like a skull. I'll take it. Yeah, you need. And finally, we end up at the base of Ryan Mountain to find an abundance of the legendary Joshua trees. Legend has it that these trees were the inspiration for Dr. Seuss's trees in the Lorax. And although I do see a resemblance, I find Joshua trees to be far more complex. Oh, God. <laughs> it likes my ponytail. Man, it's so pretty. I think this is the prettiest part so far. It's got like big mountain ranges in the distance. All right, we're going to summarize the exploring for a bit and head over to a campsite we get some firewood, we start a fire, and we're gonna cook some salmon, some vegetables, some dinner. It's gonna be fun. The wild animal dream has come true. Gabe and I have just <laughs> come upon this amazing coyote. He's like half fox, half dog. Yeah, and he's almost wolf-like. 
So how are you gonna? It's all nice and dry, to make it really easy. Yeah, I suppose the dryness out here is a benefit. And although we didn't actually camp overnight, we did enjoy a great campfire dinner and desert sunset, accented by howling coyotes. I'm not even kidding. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos here in California with Gabriel Morris, and be sure to subscribe to both of our channels if you haven't already. I was also able to discuss some world travel tips with Gabe. He had so much great information to share, so stay tuned for those. I've got new travel video delights each Friday night, and if you're ready for some more travel videos, here are a few to get you started. Bye!